This video is sponsored by Wingwing Technology, your ultimate flight sim hardware solution. Featuring the Orion Holtest, current and future configurations. Hello valued viewers, I hope you're all doing very well. Today we are in two aircraft, the P-47D, all three variants, and the P-51D, all two variants. And we're looking at standard beam approach. This is going to be a system, it's called the Detroller, and it's the BC-1206 in both aircraft that have the same system, that allows us to get on the radial of a runway, a bit like ILS. ILS in a modern aircraft will give you the azimuth direction and the elevation. In these aircraft, we only have azimuth. The first thing we need to do is understand that it works off the already in-game ILS system. So let's find a base that has ILS that we can use for our role play. How about Sanaki here in the Caucasus? If we want to know about the ILS, we go to the end of the 10 mile approach line. We can see we have an ILS here, frequency of 108 0.90 megahertz and the runway radial is true 095 degrees the next thing we want to do is to set that frequency in our aircraft on the controller there are two ways of doing that one is in cockpit and two is in the mission editor i'm going to show you both so let's get our aircraft that's starting down here let's get p51 there click on radio presets there there it is the bc1206 initial frequency and i've already set it to 108.9 and the p47 there Radio presets, already set it there to 108.9 and we'll show that we can change it in the cockpit as well. In the P-51 cockpit now, the controller system is here. I'll also show a picture of where it is on the P-47D. To turn it on, we are going to simply turn this knob all the way up for maximum volume. Here it is our frequency scale so that we can set the frequency manually. The frequency scale is not fully finished at the time of making this video. It's only just been implemented in DCS. The way to do this manually would be to take the ILS frequency, 108.9. We're going to times that by two. The basic rule at the moment as a workaround until it's fully programmed is to set it about twice of what the ILS frequency is. So about 217, something like that. So it'll be about there. Then as you approach the catchment area of the ILS system, which I'll show you, is something like that for runway 09, just, just circling with the mouse there. Then we're gonna fine tune with this knob up and down until we pick the audio signal up, and that should become obvious. When this is fully finished, you won't have to do that workaround. You'll literally just be able to set the frequency. In terms of how we work the system, if it detects that it's off to the right-hand side of the runway radial within the catchment area of the ILS system, so that's the radial there, roughly. If we go to the right of it, it will give us long beats. Beep, beep, beep. That kind of thing. Maybe a bit slower. If we're to the left of the radial, it will give us short beeps. Beep, beep, beep. And if we're perfectly or very close to being on radial, it'll give us a continuous tone. Beep. Now, just because we've got a continuous tone and we're on radial does not mean we're actually facing in the correct direction. Our heading may still be wrong. So we need to do that with the magnetic compass. So we need to find the runway radial. We know it's 095 because we got it from the mission editor, but let's show you how you can get it again from in-game. Click on that tool there and draw a line. We got 094. Well, let's just say 095 as it was in the mission editor. Remember, that is true heading. We need to adjust for magnetic variation. In this part of the world, in this time of history, the magnetic variation is approximately minus 6. 095 minus 6 degrees magnetic variation is 089. So let's go and set our magnetic compass course indicator to 089. Turn this knob. There we go. That's that done. We're also going to set our DG, our directional gyro for general navigation. Currently on, uh, coincidentally, 089 magnetic. Press and hold left mouse button and then mouse scroll wheel to adjust. So that is there, our DG calibrated to our magnetic heading. And the method that we're going to do is we're going to take off from Cobuleti. We're going to navigate roughly to Bullseye here, just via map and compass, the old-fashioned way. Once we get there, we know we're just approaching the catchment area of the ILS system of Sanaki. Our which point will take a slow right turn, a very slow right turn. We'll start picking up the signal, of course, so the audio signal, and then we'll 
keep going on the slow right turn until we intercept radial and we'll hear when we intercept radial because we'll get the consistent tone at that point we will change our heading via our magnetic compass and our course indicator so that we're heading towards the runway we'll then follow the radial via the audio signal until we land again no ranging information no elevation information everything is going to be ifr and it's going to be extremely difficult guys i'm heading off now i'll see you in the sky main instruments we'll be using are of course the magnetic compass here the directional gyro here for navigation obviously our ifr instruments will be required our adi here uh, we've got our slip and turn gauge down the bottom our altitude barometric at the bottom left and our speedo on the left and our vsi on the bottom right gear up first we're making a directional gyro heading of about 320 we know from our map to get to our uh, an rpm down to get to our bullseye uh, 320 why don't we make it 315 bearing in mind magnetic variation we've already got one wing man with me where are those jugs work trailing behind you and the jugs the uh, detroit system's going to work exactly the same isn't it guys Yes, exactly the same. Uh, are you jugs keeping up? Do you need to slow down? I believe you're outpacing us. Yep, coming down to 20 psi. I'm actually uh, recalibrate my DG on the fly here. It seems to be off slightly. So let's put that to 320. Here we go. Recalibrate the DG, and it's very normal for the DG to become uh, decalibrated as well. Altitude is under a thousand, that's fine. Speed is 160, that's getting a little slow, so I'm just going to put into 25 psi. The boys are here, hey boys! I got a little bit slow, should be at balls very shortly. We nearly are. Next thing we're we'll listening out for is the controller system. If I've turned it up, there we go. So, listen to the dashes between the beeps, they're very short. That means the beeps are long, and that means we're too far right of the radial so we're gonna make a very slow turn to the right now until those beeps become one long tone at which point we know we're on radial at which point we can then fix our heading so patience is the key in fact i'll try and describe it here we're here a very slow right arc here until we pick up the radial about there and then we'll make the right turn to get the heading right so not much to it, just be patient, just keep the altitude, keep the speed under control. It's critical not to turn too tight here and be overzealous because you'll actually turn around before you get to the radial, so we've got to be very patient. Hey boys. When the tone does become solid, we are going to turn to marry up our uh, indicator here on our magnetic compass with our course indicator here. That will keep us on the correct heading for the runway. Okay, it's becoming a solid tone, it's nearly there. It's a solid tone, make the turn. Power's dropping off. I'm going to 089 on the DG now. Power's dropping off. We are 089 on the DG. We're still on the radio because we've got the constant tone. We've got the magnetic indicator married up with the course indicator, which is exactly what we want. So we're on radio and we're heading in the correct direction. Keep an eye on speed and the usual credentials. And we're all looking good. Up to 20 PSI boost. On radial. On heading. Altitude next. 1,000 feet, that's good enough for now. Okay. Short dashes, uh, short spaces, long beeps. We are right of radial. Heading left. Is that short or is that long, Dragon? That's short. That's short, sorry, we're left of radial. We're left of radial. Gonna head right slightly. Getting to know... Can, go ahead. I can just make out the airfield and go Wow. Right, we are gonna calm off throttle a little. I'm heading right of radial to marry up with the radial again. Power's coming down, altitude's coming down right everything i'm doing now is going to be driven by my hearing 
waiting for that lovely long tone again. Here it comes. The long tone's coming. And that must be a beautiful sound if you're back from a sortie in IFR conditions. Okay, we're back on radial. All is well. I'm now going to turn left back onto heading slightly. Got no rangy equipment here, so we've got to just look for the runway. Which is much easier said than done. anyone sees it please let me know losing more altitude I've set the absolute worst case conditions here complete white out still on continuous tone all is well we've got no outer markers and no inner marker indicators not on these American planes tone is continuous I so desperately want to look at the map. I'm not going to do it. Speed's a bit high. Still got my boys with me. Trust the instruments. Trust the instruments. I've got pulsing, that means I'm slightly left, heading right slightly. Let's get the solid tone back, check the slip, slip's good. 300 feet. The space is at uh, sea level obviously, or very close to sea level. We're on solid tone, we're on solid tone. It's going to be right in front of us. It's going to be there, I can see something in front of us. Going down to 200 feet. Coming off the power a little, we're too fast, we're too fast. It's there, the tone never lies. It's gonna be there somewhere. 200 feet, 150 feet, and level out, speed down. It's there somewhere. There's the runway threshold. Check gear cap. Sugar, thank you. Gear coming down. Flaps coming down. Can't even see the runway. It's so whited out. That was not bad, and that is genuinely the first time we've done that, valued viewers. Uh, with this, with these aeroplanes, so I'm absolutely chuffed beyond words at that. Three point. The trailer off. Kind of. Ah, that was awesome, guys. Sometimes it just works out like that. And how about a J-turn to finish? And... Whoop! J-turn! How about that, guys? First time... <laughs> oh, poor old Tuxel does try. Just listening to the beeps, that's what it is. Figuring out which is left, which is right. Once you're on there, getting your heading just about right. And it will take you down. And just adjusting your altitude uh, so that you can see below the fog. Uh, is it dangerous? Yes. Is it difficult? Yes. Is it good fun? Yes. Did you? How? Where did the drugs get to? Well, we Ooh. both. Uh, yeah, our engines died Ooh. for no reason. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, but we can yeah, cut joke. it out. Right. Well, the detroller system anyway works uh, spot on. Chuff with that. Any final thoughts, Dragon? No. I think it went well. Any thoughts, boys? Nope. All good. All fun. I hope you enjoyed that, and see you later.